dryer is cooking off and fuel is pulling off. I got bees wings on the ground, I got bees wings on top of the bin. I don't know where they all come from. There's definitely a lot of them. It's colder out. Lots of steam now. Now well, hopefully we can get uh, 80 to 100 acres out today before the weather turns. See what happens. Bees wings. Hopping off the bin, getting full. A couple ribs left. Packing it in there. Yeah, that bin's full. Right up there. Monday morning, fueling up. It's gonna be us against Mother Nature today, it looks like. Chance of snow tomorrow, which is a real bummer. It's been so nice out here. But it is what it is. That's the motto for this year. It is what it is. But uh, we'll see where we end up today. See how much we can get out. I got about 400 acres to go. So we're getting there. Now I got three quarter mile long rows again. Except we got these obstacles. They make fans. It was a really nice farm until they put the windmills in there. Now it's all cut up. We got windmills all over the place. Very hard on spear booms, combine augers, planter markers, point rows. Yeah. Not very efficient farming with windmills. The only good thing about a windmill is the windmill roads to park trucks on when it's muddy. But other than that, no. I gave uh, Kelvin a uh, title today. He's the Infield Grain Transportation Director. So it's up to him. He's the one in charge of locating, dispatching, and moving trucks around. Pretty hard to keep the combine going without a Infield Transportation Director. Their truck. Run her up the auger. I think two more loads should be full. That'll be good. We can move the auger to the next 30,000 bushel bin we got to transfer to. Dumping. Trying to refill the holding bin again. Can't the snow in the morning. So we filled the holding bin around, got that full around 1 o'clock this afternoon. Transfer dry corn, other bins. Then we started back up again around 6 o'clock. We're going to top off the holding bin so we can keep the dryer going all night. But man, it's cold, getting cold. It's really raw, it's a chance of snow in the morning. Not used to it. Be sweating if it was March, but I'm we're all cold now. Not used to the cold weather. Now 7 a.m. Tuesday morning. We're picking away, trying to get the bowling bin full before the snow and the rain starts. Uh, we got about 130 acres left in this field, so we won't get done. Wednesday. Oh, it's getting close to noon. We just started picking. 
got two tenths of rain overnight, waiting for the silks and stalks to dry off. Transferred some more dry corn this morning. Did a little work on a ripper. Down to about 350 acres to go. Sounds like an inch of rain tomorrow. Then two good days, and then uh, rain and snow this weekend. So hopefully we can get that south farm done Friday and Saturday and get moved back home here in the last field we got. I guess we'll see what Mother Nature is going to give us for the weekend. Wednesday night, still picking. Can't hardly get ahead of the dryer. Pumping it out almost as fast as we're putting it in. So we're picking at the home place, so we got a really short haul. Corn finally dried off really good afternoon it was kind of tacky and pulling hard on the head this morning kind of tough things are going good now corn is in that 17 picked up a little bit of moisture 17 17 and a half of that rain we had they're talking up to an inch tomorrow so we probably won't be doing any picking tomorrow Trying to get as much in tonight as we can, then we'll be down to a couple hundred acres. We're getting there. The weather's been really nice this fall. I suppose it's time for Mother Nature to even it out, give us some bad weather. But that's farming. Dumping. I was going to say that this is uh, corn on corn. I put chicken litter on it. Gave it a little extra potash because chicken litter is usually a little short on that. Uh, planted a smart stack corn on here. Yielding really good. And it's dry. For a later corn it's 17, 17.5% which is really pretty amazing as dry as we've been everything dried down 59 pound test weight so that really helps I had some corn this year that was 61.9 pounds which is off the charts really you can really put a lot in a truck when it's 60 almost 62 pound test weight Yep, time to put new sweeps on there and going in the ground anymore. That one over there has got uh, no point on it. Well, oh, good morning. Friday. It's kind of a gloomy morning. Yeah, I got way too much sleep last night. Hard to remember what day it was today. Got out of the routine. Uh, things we want to do today. Got an air leak on one of the trucks so I want to top off one my last bin that we're putting dry corn in that we got a haul over to uh, I don't know if we'll be able to pick this afternoon or not and I'm going to uh, oil the chains and get wash the windows on the combine and get that ready wait for the guys to show up but it sounds like one to four inches of snow on Sunday. And I don't think we're going to be able to get done picking by the time that comes. But one day at a time, it is what it is. I better tighten that chain. That's pretty sloppy. I'll have to go get some wrenches. Better to do it in the shop than out in the field. Getting weak in my old age. That's the sad part, getting old. I said I was never going to get old, but I guess it's going to happen. 
thing about getting towards the end of harvest seems like everything just starts to uh, wear down a little bit and get loose that one's loose too uh, the guy needs three hands if I can get this one broke loose without falling off the ladder enough yet. Sure should be though, but must be wore it. There we go. Oh yeah, much better. Put a little oil on her. Good to roll. Thing I have been having trouble with, I got into a variety of smart stacks. Stalks were really green. I was kept plugging up my rotary screen, coming off the chopper. I've had to keep cleaning that off, but I think I've only got about two rounds left of that number, so that'll be good. But it was just sticking all over the combine. Of course, it was pretty raw at nighttime, but. Cleaned it off three times just that last day we picked. We gotta keep an eye on that. Looks like I gotta clean it off again. Looks like the grandkids are in here. I got leftover. At least if I get hungry, I know I got something down there to snack on. Well, hopefully this is the last time I gotta put government juice on. Gotta keep the government happy. Luckily I haven't had any issues, but I've been hearing the older stuff is having to replace the mufflers that are where that mixes the injects the uh, diesel exhaust fluid in there, they go bad and those mufflers are around eight to ten thousand dollars a piece. So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely another government tax. Put on three hundred hours a year. Just doesn't make sense to me. Out of government juice. Going for tote number three. 275 gallons. I use about 750 gallons of government juice a year. Transferring corn to another bin today. Be my last bin, and then whatever doesn't fit here at home, uh, going to town. The last few acres, I ain't gonna find another bin. Just let her go to the market, get rid of it. And then we've got all them rolls of tile to put in. We got tillage to do. Got some terraces to take down. Yeah, we got a lot coming up here. Dumping. I think we got about eight loads to go and we'll have her full. Cold out today. Sitting in the tractor watching it dump because it's cold. A little bit of snow flurries, a little bit of mist, and 30 mile an hour winds. Not a very fun day today. Still hauling. We've got about three more loads to go. It'll take us almost all day to stop that bin off.
Well, we're picking corn today on Saturday. We got possible four to six inches of snow coming. I'm trying to get this hilly farm done. Corn's starting to break off a little bit. Time to get her out. It's just, uh, it's time to get done, I think. We got one more farm after this, 120 acres. Hopefully we miss the snow. Sunday morning, drying corn. Keeps getting colder and colder. And then we got this last night. I don't know, just a quarter inch of snow, half inch maybe. They're talking another two today. I don't know if we'll get back to picking or not. I guess time will tell. Spending money. I was going to go check the field, see how much snow there is down south there. But then you got to have one of these deals. You got a screw in the tire. Got to get that out of there. I'm going to need both hands. She's in there pretty deep. Must be Monday. Well, I got her out. Pretty long one. I got a plug in her. You can see that. Good to go. Uh, doing a little ripping in the snow. Got too much snow in the corner to pick today. Tillage done. It's only like 18 degrees tonight. Might get a little crunchy. I don't know. It is what it is. That's my motto. So I guess we'll see how the week turns out. One job at a time. 